Hi everyone and welcome to another video with me, Michael Turney. Today we're going to have a look at the quickest and easiest way to get this proximity expression working in Adobe After Effects. These videos are designed to be the most efficient way for people with basic working knowledge of After Effects to learn new skills, so if you're completely new to After Effects, then you can check out my Fundamentals of Animation course in the link below. So let's get started. First, open After Effects and create a new composition. We'll call this Shapes. And we'll do 1080 by 1080, 25 frames a second for 5 seconds. Click OK. I already have some shapes prepared in Adobe Illustrator, so I'll select these and use Overlord to transfer them across. You can also use the shape tool up here to create your own shapes. We'll select this and create one circle in the middle here. And make sure the anchor point's in the center by double clicking this and holding control. We'll also change this layer to red and call this target. Next, we want to go to our effects and presets panel and type in slider. Drag one of these onto the target and then select Control and D until we have four of them or Command and D if you're on a Mac. Next, you'll want to rename this top one to max size, the second one to min size, the third one to range, and the fourth one to sensitivity. And we'll change the top one to 180 and the range to 600. Then you can go ahead and copy this expression, which I'll pin to the top of this video, and I'll also leave it in the description below. This expression was created by Breton Brander, so if you'd like to know exactly what each line of code does in the expression, then go ahead and check out his blog, which I'll leave a link in the uh, description below. We'll select one of the white shapes and press S for scale and then hold Alt and click this and then paste the expression in there. We can now right click this and go copy expression only. Select the next one and scroll all the way to the bottom. Hold Shift and click the bottom one. And then you can just Control and V or Command and V if you're on a Mac. And there we are, the quickest and easiest way to use a proximity expression in Adobe After Effects. Feel free to play with these different values here and also check out Bretton Brandner's blog. Thanks for watching.